Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte and Happy New Year. Today, I want to talk with you about how you can leverage the Azure Key Vault service in a power automate flow. The Azure Key Vault service is a service for storing in a secure and safe way uh, keys, secrets, certificates, and generally speaking, sensitive data. And in my opinion, if you are relying on Azure, it is the best place to use to store such kind of information. With Power Automate and with a premium connector for Power Automate, you can easily access the secrets that you store in Azure Key Vault in order to read them inside of your flows, as well as you can encrypt and decrypt data, which is really useful, and you can also get or list the metadata of a key stored in Azure Key Vault. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you to use it in practice. So, here I am in the Azure Management Portal and I have an instance of the Azure Key Vault service. Here you can see we have a Vault URI which is uniquely identifying my instance of Azure Key Vault. Here we have the keys, secrets and the certificates stored in my Azure Key Vault service instance. And for example, in the keys section, I created a demo key which I will simply uh, create by clicking on the generate or import. I can use the auto generation of the key. I can provide a name and I can choose the RSA key size as well as the key type and stuff like that. And once you are done, you will have a key available for encrypting and decrypting data. In the secret section, you can create or manage one or more secrets. Here, for example, again, I have a demo secret. In this demo secret, we can see that we have specific uh, uh, value stored and I can show the secret value which is just the random uh, and fake password for the sake of making uh, an example. As well as we can store certificates or we can generate certificates using the Azure Key Vault. Once you have such kind of service configured with all of the settings and secrets stored, you can easily access uh, those information from Power Automate. Here we have a flow that I defined in Power Automate. It is an instant uh, flow which I will trigger manually by pressing a button. And I can show you that we have, by clicking on add an action, we have a bunch of actions. If I search for Key Vault, we can see that we have in the Azure Key Vault section a bunch of actions that we can use through the premium connector for Azure Key Vault. And uh, the actions are, for example, encrypt data and decrypt data with a key. And the key will be a key selected from the Azure Key Vault. We can get a secret. We can also uh, rely on a specific version of a key if it is needed, as well as we can list or get secrets and key metadata from the Key Vault. So a lot of options to play with the Azure Key Vault. Now, let me delete this item right now and let me just show what I already uh, designed and defined in my Power Automate flow. First of all, I have a get secret. As you can notice from this locker right here, in the settings of my action, I configure to secure the output of this action. Actually, if you don't want to do that, you can eventually even see in clear text for debugging purposes, for example, the values that you will retrieve from the Azure Key Vault when you want to get a specific secret. By default, my behavior is to always enable the secure output flag whenever I define a flow which relies on the get secret action. Here, you will simply need the very first time you will use it to define a connection to the Azure Key Vault instance. For example, here in my connections for my uh, Power Automate instance, I have a uh, connection configured for Azure Key Vault using uh, uh, the Key Vault name and providing my user credentials in order to use open authorization. Another option that you have is also to uh, use uh, the service principal account of an account with a client ID and a client secret rather than using a specific user account. 
Once you have configured the connection, you can browse through all of the secrets that you have stored in the Azure Key Vault instance that you are relying on. In my scenario, as I just showed you, I just have one secret. And once you have done that, you can retrieve the secret value and you can use it later on in your flow. It could be, for example, a setting, a password, or something that you want to store safely in Azure Key Vault and that you want to access from inside the flow defined in Power Auto. Furthermore, you can also do something like encrypting and decrypting data. Using the encrypt data with key action, you will have to select the key that you want to use. And once again, the demo key that I'm selecting right here is the one that I showed you before in my Azure Key Vault instance. You have to choose the uh, encryption algorithm that you want to use, and you have to specify the data that you want to encrypt which can clearly be something that you retrieve from other actions or can be something like I did right here, where I simply provided a plain text string. Then we also have the decrypt data with key, which will still rely on the same key, on the same algorithm, and we provide as the encrypted data the output of the encrypt data with key action, so that basically I will simply encrypt and decrypt the same string to show you that we have the actual result that we are looking for. If I will test and run manually this flow, let me show you. Let me click on test and run the flow. It's done. We can now see the output and we can see that we have got the secret, but we don't see the output because I decided to not show the output of this action. As well as here I have the encryption and this will be the encrypted data. As well as here I am decrypting the data. This is the input and this is the output that I get back, which is the original text that I provided in clear text to the encrypt data with key action. So the um, uh, Azure Key Vault uh, uh, Premium Connector, in my opinion, is really useful whenever you want to do real stuff in uh, Power Automate, relying on uh, safely secured uh, information, settings, key, and stuff like that. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and are looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.